What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never left. left. Shout out to the fam. We appreciate you guys for pulling back up. It's always a pleasure whenever we get together. Tonight, we're going to be checking out the day after tomorrow. Uh, look at you. Asia, she already like rubbing her hands together. The last time we did a disaster movie, we watched Twister. Yeah. Which That's like the last time. time. Yeah. And this this actually won our community poll. Like so shout out to the fam. Actually this won in Patreon also. And it and also in the community. So shout out to the fam, the Patreon fam as well. Hashtag um, all votes matter. Yeah. And if you are new here, be sure you like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any Absolutely. videos from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon so y'all can check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, Patreon polls. And access to all of our TV series as well, all over on Patreon. And Absolutely. shoot, I'm excited to get into this. Like, I'll, all the comments were saying we had to see this movie. Like, they did. They did. And it's crazy because I've never watched this movie before. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> this is your first time watching, too. I don't mm -hmm. think you've ever seen it. Okay. Yeah, the day after tomorrow. I have no idea what it's about other than they saying that it's the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and tap and, in. And no, y'all, I did not retire the tea jug. The tea jug is, <laughs> is in the refrigerator. <laughs> it's chilling. Uh, I, we read all the comments. Y'all are hilarious. Y'all was like, Asia, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and then somebody was like, yeah, I drink out the, yeah, I drink out the, the jug, but that's not why I live alone. I'm like, <laughs> I saw, like, there were just so many, like, funny comments to it. Y'all know I was joking, but it was just funny to see everybody's, that was, that was like, good. comments. Because y'all yeah. are like, shoot, I'm drinking mine right now. I'm drinking it watching this, this episode. Right, like, I'm drinking Milo's <laughs> right now. So, I guess, man, you're not the only one that, only husband, Fortunately. the only man. Fortunately, out drinking out the jug. There's some more y'all out there too. Y'all just didn't say it. Y'all were just like, y'all trying to keep it PC. It's okay. If y'all don't get a dang old cup, okay? Yeah. I'm just saying. But man, shout out to everybody, man. We love you guys. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, we got our popcorn ready. Yeah. What, what else we got? We got. We have a pretzel. Some, um, we got pretzels and we got beef jerky tonight as well. Jerky. Ooh, okay. I'm excited yeah. to today. All right. Too. All right, y'all. So let's jump in. Did you put put the little hairy hippo up? Oh, the hairy hippo. He the reason why I'm drinking this right now. <laughs> he the reason why I'm drinking Celsius right now. Our little pooch, he got he got like a bad stomach. He got diarrhea or something uh, going on. That's cause he got into the other dog's food, y'all. Like he just found his way to the bag of food and cleaned house. Okay, literally mm -hmm. until somebody caught him. Yeah, he's a puppy, but he's eating, like, the other dog's adult dog food because yeah. he snuck in there. So now he, he paying for it right yeah, now. Yeah, he paying the price. Yeah, we all paying the price. I know. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all paying the price. He messed up price. his bed. We had to wash his bed, like, three times. Yeah, then you tried to give him a cover. <laughs> and then he used it on that. Yeah. Okay, and he's been doing so good, like... So you obviously know something is wrong because mm -hmm. he hadn't been doing that at all since we had him. So I know that's why, though. It got to be. How long he was eating out of that bag before we caught his behind? Probably a good five minutes because he looked full. He so, looked so, so like he had, So he got like a good, <laughs> so he had like a whole meal of eating our other dog's dog food that he's not even an, an adult to eat. Yeah, stuck his big nose in it and just went to town. Okay, y'all. Relentless. Religion. All right, y'all. So yeah, I don't know when this when this movie came out. Um, I'm not even really familiar with like a lot of um, like disaster movies. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I said that too. I was like, if there's another one I forgot, y'all, I really, I don't even know what's good. So I'm yeah. just trying to put what's in the bowl. Yeah, like for everybody. Saying, like Dante Speak too, or something like that. For us to check that out, that out too as well. Dante Speaks. Dante. Oh, Dante Peak. Peak. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. All right, y'all. Here we go. Let's jump into it. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so the day after tomorrow. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, 
And y'all, excuse me in advance for smacking, but this popcorn is good. It is good. <laughs> Well, you know, I think this, I think if I'm not mistaken, this might be the one that's based off of a true story. Dennis Quaid. Somebody said it was based on a true story? I think, I think it was this one. I guess it's safe to assume this is what, it's not Alaska, this is more like, like the, like the Arctic. No, but it sounds like something like, like her heroic. <laughs> like, like there's gonna take some heroes to get you out of this problem. <laughs> Look at that. And it, and and this is where like the Baron Strait was at too, right? Yeah. The Baron, yeah, Baron Strait. The Arctic. Should have known. The ice shelf. <laughs> Antarctica. Oh, uh oh. They all about to die. Mm mm. You need. You can't pull it back up. Uh oh. He hear it. Somebody throw me a buoy. I, I didn't do anything. Ooh. Oh, you did it. Give me your hand. I'm going to Oh, my. It, it, the whole thing just gave way. Damn it, Jack. It's too late. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no way. That's crazy. Oh, he gone. No way. Man. Dad, give me your hand. What were you thinking? Oh, I wasn't thinking at all. The whole damn shelf is breaking off. That's where it's happening. Whoa. But what does it mean? It means that it's... About to cause some problems in the water, in no, the ocean. No, but I'm saying like an earthquake? Well, like... Our economy is every bit as fragile as the environment. Perhaps you should keep that in mind before making sensationalist claims. Well, the last chunk of ice that broke off was about the size of the state of Rhode Island. Some people might call that pretty sensational. That's pretty sensational. I would agree. That's a lot of ice. I'm here at the Global Warming Conference in New Delhi, where if you can believe your eyes, it's snowing. The coldest weather on record has thrown the city into chaos with numbers of homeless people. Who would ever snow in New Delhi? I, I was about to say, I don't think it snows there. Professor Robson of the Headland Center? That's me. I've read your work on ocean currents. What do you say to a spot of tea? Absolutely. We can hail a cab. <whistles> Over here. I always wanted to learn how to whistle like that. <laughs> and I could never do it. I've never been over. I've never been able to whistle like that. <laughs> Me neither. Welcome back to Leeds 3-1 over Champions League. Match. Second half as Manchester United. So much for security. Let's get back to our commentator, Donald McFarlane. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> security sleep. I, I, I just closed my eyes for a sec. <laughs> He's resting his eyes. <laughs> Sound like you. Resting his eyes. Mm -hmm. He's sleep. What's that? George's bank. Oh, it's rough seas out there. Must have knocked it about. Something brewing on the horizon. Yeah. All these little warning signs. But the fact that it's like snowing in New Delhi, though. <laughs> he lying. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. Look how big that ice is. That's crazy. Look how big it is, though. Oh. Ooh. You gotta be kidding me. Papa. 
Ice the size of what? Shoot, bricks. Like a basketball or something? <laughs> bricks falling out the yeah, sky. Yeah, and, and this stuff, it's all over the world. New Delhi, Tokyo, Scotland. So, I wonder if it got something to do with the global warming, he said. Mm -hmm. He says... What I'm trying to tell you is that Raymond oh, Becker shit. pulls our budget. Wait, wait, wait. Jack! Oh, look like he finna be late picking his son up. I did. He didn't believe me. He said that if he can't do him in his head, then I must be cheating. Well, that's ridiculous. How can he fail you for being smarter than he is? That's what my chemistry... I told my chemistry teacher the same thing. <laughs> I do it all in my head. Dang, he ain't even hug him by nothing. Right. Bye. When kids start... When kids start growing away from their parents, start growing up. Oh, wow. That's huge. Oh, man. So like the plane was flying right into it. Yeah. Oh, no. Isn't that the worst when you hit that turbulence yes. on a plane? They're still serving drinks. I, I need the billion odds, though. One in a billion. I do not need nobody telling me that better. while I'm on the plane. Uh oh, she's walking off fast. Be right here for the next few minutes. We ask that you please fasten your seat. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's way more than turbulence. Sam. See, that's me holding your hand on the plane, cuz. No. <laughs> Man, that it. See that for me that's like one of the, like one of my nightmares. I know. This boy isn't in George's bank. He's just off Greenland. What? Oh, that's another one. Oh, this looked like a scene from out of uh, Dark Skies <laughs> and all the birds. Sometimes animals, they the first ones to let you know when there's something wrong. Yep, especially the birds. <laughs> sure, that'd be great. Could you hold this for a second? Uh, <laughs> oh, my drink. Thanks. Yeah, I can see it in his eyes. Man, you got some serious competition. Please. I bet he's really rich too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Shut up." Dang. That's the kind of lightning and thunder I hate. Oh man, this don't look good at all. The swell off Hurricane Noalani is incredible. These waves are even bigger than I imagined. Just take a look. Now a hurricane? The Weather Center. It's Tommy, I'm down at the beach. I'm in the middle of something, Tommy. What do you need? <laughs> oh, he, oh, he is. It's the ice there, too. He's creating a cyclonic system across the LA basin. That's a sign right there when you see that softball size hail. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There's definitely something going on. Oh, that, oh, yeah, it's that tornado warning. Right uh, now. Uh, oh, boy. Just right out of nowhere. Right. Booker, what's going on here? So everybody's standing up just concerned. a tornado warning in Los Angeles. Breaking news as we prepare to go live to Los Angeles. That's probably like unheard of. Tornadoes? Yeah. Okay, we're now going live to our Fox affiliate in Los Angeles. Oh. No, that's unheard of. Oh, oh my God. Lisa. Uh, Not the Holly. Are you getting this on camera that this tornado just came? Man, this can't be a true story. It can't. <laughs> this, this must not be the one. Uh oh, Capitol Records too. Damage down there. And there are people down there. Hell no. Strike in Los Angeles International Airport. Wait, wait, it looks like they joined it for one large tornado. Tommy! Oh! You're on TV, you're right in the middle of it. God. Oh my god! Oh, you gotta go. It's one of many tornadoes that are destroying our city. There's another They're all over the place. 
Oh man, everybody better run for cover. Huge, horrific, terrifying nightmare! Only this is the real thing! Oh, you heard that? Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> I mean, they really be out there. <laughs> god! It went pitch black. Talking about terrified. <laughs> Look at the gym. Well, I feel like something about to snatch him up out. Oh, look! Dang. Just like a whole chunk side of the building. I don't think they've ever seen a tornado that big. I'm looking at it right now. Wow. That's an L5. So much for one in a billion. <laughs> Might want to change said, those odds. One in a billion. That's that, if it was two. That. Hold on, Jack. Are you suggesting these weather anomalies are going to continue? Not just continue. Worse. I think we're on the verge of a major climate shift. Uh oh. AKA humankind is in danger. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jason. <laughs> Do me a favor, okay? Just don't worry about me. I'll figure it out. All right, son. I'll see you tomorrow. No, that's not gonna fly over with me. I'll figure it out. We got a place to stay. Great. She said we. Evacuations. Yes. You lost your mind, Hall. I have to go. Wow, he's not even taking them serious. Mm -mm. If we don't act now, it's going to be too late. Look, he, look, he handed it off. Then, then he done said your name all out loud. Indicating that it froze instantly while grazing. That's true, I remember seeing that. I do, I do too. Luckily we got our own Jenny. Enough tea and biscuits to sink a ship. Oh, we'll be fine. As long as the loo doesn't back up again. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you better hope and pray. <laughs> all right. Look how he looking. Okay, that, okay. that can happen. <laughs> That's the look he got on his face. At this point. They all look worried though. Mm -hmm. For real. Can't even see in front of him. Look at that. It's almost like a wall cloud. Yeah, is that like the wall of a storm? Oh, that's... That's the eye. Like the eye. Uh, what the hell is going on? The bloody fuel lines are starting to freeze. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, you bastard! Come on! Oh. Straight up out of this. Oh, somebody survived. What I'm about to tell you. What is going on? They crashed because the fuel in their lines froze. At what temperature does... Negative 150 degrees. Oh, oh. shh. This thing looks just like a hurricane. Only hurricanes don't form over land. So what the heck? Oh, man. I got goosebumps now. Like, my hair is standing up on my arms, man. Does that not give you, like, put the fear of God in you? After sending the helicopter, and he literally just froze like instantly. Literally. It's like the storm of the century. The storm of a It's a lot of rain. Yeah. The platforms are flooded, and service has been suspended on yeah. all trains. With planes still grounded in. They're not leaving on the train either. Hey, Victor's coming to pick me up. Do you guys want to ride to the train station? Been stranded since this morning. Not anymore. So you better stay put. Now well, I gotta go pick up my little brother. Do you guys want me to give you a ride? Where is he? He's in a boarding school in Philadelphia. 25. We could see a wind-driven storm surge that could threaten the entire eastern seaboard. Oh, no. 25 feet. No, not in this. We should take the stairs. I don't think we should go anywhere. They trip him. They tripping for even thinking they're leaving. Look at the water in the street. Come on, Jack, come on. 
It's like the train. That's the subway. What about the animals? They're all gonna drown. Just to give you an idea of the situation, which seems to be becoming worse with each passing minute. Where did the wolves go? Escaped. The water's getting even higher. Man. I'm taking the dog inside. It's so much fun. The bomb. Hello! Even if he wanted to, where is he gonna go? He can't even drive. There's nowhere to go. Oh. Oh. I don't speak French! She most likely is saying, get me out of here. Like. <laughs> I don't speak French. What you think she's saying? You're right. Look at the storm surge. That's crazy. That's like to the proportion of like a tsunami. Worse. <laughs> Way worse. Uh oh. Oh my. This is like the end of the world. What? That's beyond crazy. Look water coming towards New York City. Everybody. Babe. Look, look, he don't even know. They don't even have a clue. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. OMG. Oh my gosh. I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine. Damn a passport. If I saw that in real life, my heart would drop. Babe. Oh gosh. Laura about to go. Oh, they all about to die. <laughs> he picked his dog up and said, I'm going inside. And you know how fast water moves too. Yes. It's almost like it's almost impossible to run away from water. Oh man. That's like the whole city. Yes. The storm's rotation is pulling super cool air all the way down from the upper troposphere. Wow. That sound bad. I don't know what it mean, but this one storm is going to change. Here's a projection of 24 hours out. Oh, that's over like five continents. Troposphere, I think, isn't at the very top of the of the Earth. I think so. I gotta see what <laughs> the troposphere. <laughs> Damn, that's like three huge storms covering like five, six continents. The lowest layer. The troposphere. Yeah. The part that's tripping me out is like. They hadn't even had that much time of, of a warning no. before all of this started happening. No. To even prepare. Jack. Something's happened in New York. Oh, definitely something happened in New, in New York. How many feet is that? <laughs> it was really brave. About time she noticed him. Don't mention it. We almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Laura would be gone. <laughs> Cause I would have been inside. Yeah. That was heroic of him. Cause he could have just ran back in, but he went back for her. Yeah. He didn't go back for her. Yeah. He better do it before time runs out. <sighs> oh. 
That's water from the Atlantic too, so you know it's cold. I will come for you. <sighs> Sam! He gotta get out of there. Let's find some dry clothes for you. Yeah. Why all I can think in my head is, I came back for you, Rose. <laughs> Jack! Jack, this is not the same. Lucy, yeah. tell him. Uh, what a, you can I thought people were freezing. It is not the same. Much better. <laughs> Ain't nothing like some good old body heat. Right. Ooh. I know he's not about to. Look how they bundled up. No freaking way. I bet you there's nobody even on it. That's crazy. Uh oh. Mexico would be best. Mexico. Maybe you should stick to science and leave policy to us. Well, we tried that approach. <laughs> you didn't want to hear about the science when it could have made a difference. That's true. Right. Basically. Evacuate. Everyone south of that line. Go as far south as you can to the equator, basically. I'm afraid it's too late for them. If they go outside, the storm will kill them. Instantly. What do you think he'll do? I don't know. Jack. And it's so cold, it'll knock the power out too. I almost feel like this is something that couldn't be avoided unless they did something way sooner. As far as evacuating. Difficult choice. I don't accept that abandoning half the country is necessary. Maybe if you would have listened to him sooner, it wouldn't be. Not bullshit. Because he's stuck on stupid. If he would have just listened to him, like he probably could have prevented like a lot of people casualties, basically. Mm -hmm. At this point, like mi millions of people. Mm -hmm. And again, with it being that cold, it'll knock out like the power grid, electricity, everything. So how would you stay warm? I, I Sorry, mates, but we're just about out of petrol. Uh -oh. We're talking the ice age. To mankind. Manchester United. <laughs> the important thing is he will grow up. Don't lose faith. Uh oh. I was just about to say, don't lose faith, brother. And look. They knew that was about to happen. Man. So if you are without food or water. And nobody had any time to prepare. Electricity, like you are really. They're walking on the snow. Uh oh. They need to get them inside. Where are they all going? Getting out of the city before it's too late. Where'd they come from? The storm will kill anybody caught in it. Then you have to say something. And what? How many miles y'all finna walk in the snow? You're not gonna be able to survive in it. Believe me. You stand or going? Look, and they all walking out. Just don't, don't. You stand or going? <laughs> all right, I'd rather wait it out I than feel be. Like I gotta stay. Than be buried in snow. Look at all those people. But how far are you gonna walk? If you're trying to migrate south, you can't walk. And not only that, they're not gonna make it real far. And they don't even know it. I think he just led them to their death. So how he think he about to walk up there? We haven't been able to reach Peter's parents. I'm gonna try later. I know he's not gonna go on foot. All these years I thought I was watching your back. Where are the keys? In the truck. I just don't think that that's a good idea. I'll try to give you updates on the storm as it heads your way. Good luck, Jack. I don't know. I thought the storm froze the helicopter and the people. How do you... Yeah, but I, but I think that was like in Scotland somewhere. But that's what he said is coming to them. Yeah, eventually. I think eventually, yeah. I think they... Instead, they closed gates. And now, in a dramatic reversal. <laughs> don't, Damn. don't come here. Thousands of people are crossing the Rio Grande 
into Mexico. The scene that's unfolding here. Uh oh. So Mexico said. And they are wading across the river wow. illegally into Mexico. You ain't got no choice. All right. They got a bunch of wood around. You want to freeze to death? Burn, burn the books. Burn the books or die. <laughs> I'm going to go get some more too. So you can tell everybody they're not completely taking it seriously. Just an employee's lounge with a few vending machines. <laughs> Dang, they only have real food. <laughs> it's only something to eat in the garbage. <laughs> I mean, he got a point now. Peter can't be moved in anything but an ambulance. I called and left a message for the county ambulance service. Just more bad news. They got a bold family. <laughs> between the mama, the son, and the and the dad. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think your dad's gonna make it. Nah, he'll make it. I don't think he gonna make it either. I'm just being logical here. So this is all based on time. <laughs> Look at that wind. Philadelphia. Rescue workers say they have no idea. Oh. I had a feeling that was gonna you happen. Can't, you can't see nothing. I just had a feeling that that was gonna happen. I'm like, there's no way they're gonna make it very far with this snow. Unpack the snowshoes. Oh my We're gosh. walking from here. There's no way. That's crazy. Okay, guys, let's get moving. I can't believe that they will leave like that. I, I can't either. Look. Wait, wait. Now you see like what it is that he 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 wants like from his dad is just hanging out with him in time. Mm -hmm. You get stuck on a boat. That's not that's not fun for ten days. Yeah, she said she said that was boring, but to him that's like shoot just just being with my dad because you can tell he busy. He always gone if he's a climatologist. Look at this. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, that's when the, Oh, they all gonna go in. No way they're gonna get up. He's attached to it like a a a, a the sleigh. sleigh. Yeah. Well, there goes the supplies. You gotta support Christ's way. Okay, I'll try. Oh man. Oh, he took the gl the gloves off and everything. Oh no. Oh no. Please get him. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. It's not gonna hold. It's about to get away. Oh, it's not. Oh. No. Dang. Man, they had to sit there and watch him fall. Couldn't even imagine what they thinking right now. Maybe this ain't a good idea. It's first thing that comes to mind. I didn't think anybody. Thank you so much for coming. I should be a little bit more optimistic. <laughs> you think nobody was coming? I didn't think nobody was coming. Think about just being in that type of cold where you can't even get warm by a fire. I think I think the reason the reason why she feels probably the way she does is because of that cut. Oh, or her feeling bad. Yeah. Like sick. I bet you. I bet you it's infected. I forgot. I forgot that. I forgot about she cut her, she cut her leg on the. Um... All right. But what, they evacuate the president? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the Oval Office. A few days ago. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I was right. Oh, gosh. 
it it is infected. That, that, that was probably what was next in in the text. Come on now. That, that. Look at that. And you can tell it's snow or it's cold. There's no point of reference. All I could see is cloud cover. Like a blanket of clouds. Korolev, your weather service. I'll help you. They ain't out of space, so they kind of, they safe, I guess you can say. Wow. Look how high up they are. That's a billboard. Oh, man. Oh. Why? No, he not thinking the same thing. I'm going with you. Me too. Sure. Y'all y'all go ahead. Oh man. I'm gonna make sure the fire That's keeps going. Crazy. <laughs> I think that ship was probably just drifting. Mm-hmm. Cause it's literally frozen solid from the inside out. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're the wolves. Uh oh, they picked the scent up. And you know, they starving right now too. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh man. You've got to be kidding me, no freaking way. We should find some food while we're here. But we don't have time. None of us are gonna survive much longer without food, okay? Including Laura. Well, why he can't go back and take the penicillin back and they, and they stay back and get the food? <laughs> right now, there's wolves on the ship. Bingo. <laughs> they oh, don't, no. And, and they don't even know it. Oh, oh. Ryan? Oh, this is about to get interesting. <laughs> This is crazy. Killer wolves. Who did he bite? Oh. Here, use this. Oh man! All this time, they just now. Now you need two bottles of penicillin. Up of ten degrees per second. Wow. And, and Jack is literally in that direction right now. Right, and now like this is probably when people start freezing to death and stuff. Oh, there they go. No. Okay, they gotta hurry up. They gotta hurry up. Come on, hurry. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And he out here walking. Yeah, he, he's pulling his friend too. Cause ain't, ain't it the backside that be the worst? Uh, yeah, after the eye, that's it. You kidding me? Is that the Empire State Building? No. Let's go. Oh, I think yeah, that is. Yeah, it is. That's what you call an Arctic wind chill. They made it in without a second to waste. Watch. Oh my gosh, babe. Go let the fire go out. What's happening? Can't, I can't believe that.
Damn, he lucky to even be able to stand up. Right? Wait, so... They were at the same place. They're, they're, they're not they're... too far. Yeah, they're not too far from each other. We're 40 miles from Manhattan. Jack, shouldn't we wait one more hill? No, he... He way farther than I thought. I thought, okay. I guess they were just pushing each other into that, into that like, vent at the same time, but they're in two different places. Right. But everything was freezing at the same time. Yeah. It's almost impossible to walk through that much snow and that much wind, like 40 miles. There's no way you can make it. Look at that. I made my son a promise. I'm going to keep it. I'm trying to tell you, I wouldn't even be thinking about the odds right now. And I just feel like it would be really hard to keep going. You see those people out there like that, and then it, I just feel like my skepticism. Psh, the skepticism is definitely written on his face right yeah. now. Yeah, as in like, what ah. are we doing exactly? Because at this point, there is no way going back. It's finally clearing. We're over Europe right now. You can see landmass oh. for the first time. Oh, that's Italy. That's Italy. <laughs> Well, that's slightly good news. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, there's no way that he could, that they can travel 40 miles. But what happens if, if everything just melts? Look at the sun. They ain't seen the sun in about four days. Statue of Liberty. Oh, it is. Is that much ice and snow? That's yeah. crazy. And we all know how tall the Statue of Liberty is. Right? No way. That's New York City? Yeah. Think they survived? I mean, as long as they got that fire burning, I think. Oh, we about to see. Come on, come on, come on. Of course I did. He made it, baby. He made it. Wow. And you see now, like the like even the inside is just frozen. That's good news. <laughs> Shoot, any, I was about to say, is it? Like, he it, don't even look? I don't know. Any, any news of anybody alive is good news. The fact that my first address to you comes from a consulate on foreign soil is a testament to our changed reality. God, man, they are so lucky. Like, beyond luck. The dog, too. <laughs> he still got the dog. Look at that. Wow. Oh, they're on the rooftops. When they say the whole entire northern hemisphere... He was not lying. Encore. Encore. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh. They left me hanging a little bit. They make you. They make you want to start living right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Count your blessings. I'm Recycle. trying to tell you. Okay, use a bike, not a car. This this make you want to live know. right, like straight and narrow, like everything I do. <laughs> Because it's like we can, it's like even like, like living here on planet Earth and like all the things that's like, you know, everything that's changed over the last 20, 30, 40 years just right. regarding like the climate and the weather. Cause exactly. We say it all the time, like even here in Texas when we talk about like how like, like the summer months are hotter than what it was 20 years ago. Yeah. And you know, you know what all of that is, is, is attributed to. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so it, this it, is like one of those movies that's like right down that alley of like. 
like worst case scenario yeah. type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just feel like yeah, this movie definitely is one of those like a fear monger. <laughs> it's gonna make you do right, okay? Like just because Man. the the probability of something like that happening, like if it ever yeah. got out of control, like how scary that would be, mm-hmm. and how fast it came upon like the people, like they didn't even have time to prepare, like to prepare or to like to prep to. Food, water, like they didn't even have the necessities to even survive it, even if they did have shelter to be in. You know, like you literally had to know how to survive this to survive it. Because otherwise, like, I just feel like the average person would have would have probably died in that. It would have been over. And for it to be like, you know, an ice age, like almost like the entire, probably what, 70 percent? It probably was at least half of the earth yeah. was covered in, in snow and not just mm-hmm. snow, but... Ice. Ice. Ice age temperatures. Yeah. Yeah. Like going back to like when, when like the dinosaurs, like supposedly when they were talking about like the dinosaurs and the Barren Strait, when everything was like ice. Yeah. Well, but they I do knew talk something about, was wrong. They, yeah, go ahead. I knew something was wrong when the, when the, when they were in, Antar- in, in, in Antarctica. <laughs> Sheesh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, the, and the ice started caving in. Mm-hmm. Like. That was already showing you, like... That was the first the, big, the, major, the telltale early, like, sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that something wasn't right. Yeah. And we and, and we watched that, too, on TV before when they talk about, you know, how, like, the climate is changing and how things that we're doing to the earth and things that we're putting into the atmosphere is causing these crazy, like, like climate and storms. Like, yeah. e- even when we was watching about the Antarctica, how to have, like, pictures from, like, 1973, how... how Antarctica and Alaska look mm-hmm. and then when you look at them now it's like the glaciers are gone where there was tons of ice it's like just land so it's already showing you that right now at this time over the last 30 40 maybe 50 years that some of the stuff that they talk about Antarctica and the glaciers have already melted yeah. and it's and it's increasing like the sea level and yeah. stuff you know yeah so it, it, it so it definitely <laughs> makes you, you think said. of that like just off the rip. Mm-hmm. But there's no way, like, for me, like, this is, like, one of the more terrifying anomalies that you would think that would ever happen. Because a lot of times, you know, they talk about, like, we've watched, like, Twister, you know? Yeah. And that was mostly about, like, the tornadoes. But for them, for them to see a tornado in L.A., yeah. the way that they did, that that was already, like, the first indication that th- this is weather that the world has never, never seen, seen in thousands of years. Yeah, well, in New Delhi, too, it was snowing. Like, and it was snowing. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this was actually a really good movie. Dennis Quaid is, is the, was the dad. That was Jack. That, oh, Jack, he fell off the, he was the one tied to the rope. No, Jack is the dad that... The, the dad? Yeah. Okay, you just said the dad. Did you say somebody he tied to the rope? No, you said no. And then I said, was he the one that was tied to the rope? No, I said no. He's not the one that was tied to the rope. He was, he was the one that was pulling the guy. Right. So he's not tied to the rope. He's the one that's pulling the rope. Right? <laughs> Babe, the question... Well, yeah, Jack. Who, Jack, the main character. <laughs> Jack, the okay. climatologist. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The, uh-huh. He was the dad. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I recognize this Quay from, from anywhere. Um, and then, you know, I just like these type of Wait, movies. Wait, but the guy that did fall was the guy that he played in. He was in the movie, too. I, don't, I didn't even recognize him. That was, um, wasn't that him from The Shining? <laughs> no, that's that not guy? Jack Nicholson. No. no, no, okay. Yeah, no, no. No, no. the guy with the hair that, that did fall from the rope. I don't think he was from The Shining. Okay, no, but, he wasn't from The Shining. Uh-uh. Yeah, I, I didn't. Re- the only person I recognized in this movie was this was, was Dennis Quay, and then also um, Dennis Quaid's son that played in this movie. Those are like the only two people that I recognize that I've that I've ever seen. Who was the, the guy from the, like that fell from the rope? I for some reason thought he looked familiar to me, which was I, I was surprised that he had even died. Okay, so his son Sam is Jake Frank Gillenhall. Frank. It was Frank J. Sanders. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Sanders. Maybe I just mm-hmm. thought he looked like somebody, but he, he mm-hmm. is not. Okay. Okay. But I no. enjoyed this because this, this falls right in, right in line with like the sci-fi action and yeah. the thrillers and things like that too. Yeah. So this was like good to see, especially like what we've been watching recently. Like, like I, I like this change of pace and, and change of shift in genres to be able to actually kind of dive into more of like the sci-fi, the catastrophic, um, 
you know, just anything that's like catastrophic, like when it involves like the world yeah. and things like that. And the storyline of it too. Like if you're into like, you know, naturistic type of things, like natural phenomena, things that happen like naturally anyways, like this movie was probably mm-hmm. like crazed for yeah. okay and even even though they put a little sauce on it where they kind of like turned it turned it up a little bit to kind of show you like the worst 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 case scenario yeah you know yeah but but it was still a really good movie though and like, and and they it's all, survived and it's always like one of these types of movies that kind of bring you back to reality as far as like the real world even though they it's like exaggerated like maybe times 10 or times 15 but it still lets you know like there are still things that's going on in this world that is, you know, controlling mm-hmm. the climate. And, you know, if we if we work together, if, if we make the world or we make the earth fall out of, ba- out of its balance. Yeah. Then like these are the things that we're going to have to expect, like moving forward. Right. You know. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Great movie suggestion. Y'all. Now I see why y'all wanted us to check it out. And I'm so glad that we got a chance to do that. So. Y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. We're going to see y'all in the next video. Y'all. Absolutely. That ship was the only thing that saved them. Yeah, because he was able to get the penicillin. <laughs> hey, right. And then they was able to get back. Some but, food. But the main thing is is just getting getting shelter. That was the main thing. Everybody that left perished. Right. If you was able to get shelter, then you had probably a 50 to 60% higher chance of living. Yeah. At yeah, least. Right. Okay. Peace and blessings, y'all. <laughs> y'all take it easy.